Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you this fine day? Me? I'm feeling somewhat anxious because I am about to do another one of my vlogs where I talk about something which I don't think I'm an expert on. We're going to be taking a look at some WordPress add-ons, some different tools that I use in WordPress uh, that help me grow my YouTube community. Actually, they just help me grow my community. Uh, and uh, I've done a little bit on WordPress in the past. You folks liked it. I've got a lot of comments on the channel saying, do more on WordPress, Steve, which is the genesis of my anxiety. I am not a WordPress expert. I muddle through as best I can. Uh, so today it's going to be a muddling through as best I can special on Dottotech as we take a look at a few of the different WordPress add-ons that I'm using in growing my YouTube channel to 100,000 subscribers. Our website is still the most important asset that we have, at least those of us who are in the, in the, in the digital space. Uh, me with the YouTube channel, even though my YouTube account is where I concentrate so much effort, really the payoff, the engine that drives the entire machine is the website because when people come to the website, they can opt in on my mail list, uh, I can track them more effectively, and I can start to ultimately sell to them. It sounds kind of mercenary, I know, but at the end of the day, we have to convert followers into customers at some point in this process, and the website is where that transition starts to occur. So one of my goals every day when I look at any product that I'm producing is am I going to be able to create new followers, get new people into um, onto my mail list so that I can eventually at some point downstream market to them. So one of the things that I've really concentrated on the last few months is my landing pages, my opt-in pages. I, 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 it, it all started when I looked at a product called ClickFunnels. Some of you might have looked at it. It creates landing pages and sales funnels. As they say, that converts. It's a really well thought out product. I think they did a great job building it and I signed up and used it for a couple of months. Now it's not cheap, it's $99 a month, but I learned a lot about their philosophy on building sales funnels. Now, of course, the sales funnel starts with an opt-in page where we get people to opt in and we usually give them something for free and then we lead them through down a path, usually with a series of emails, talking to them, eventually leading them to getting more and more interested in a course or an offering that we're selling. And I felt like I haven't done a great job in that area. I wanted to learn more about it. So I bought ClickFunnels and I started to work with it. And I worked with it for a couple of months. And as I say, it's a good tool, but it's too much for what I want to do right now. And uh, at $99 a month, I just felt that my dollars could be spent better elsewhere. Having said that, I'm still glad that I bought it for the months that I did because learning their philosophy on sales funnels and landing pages and split testing ended up being incredibly valuable and something that I think I'll be able to apply downstream, even though I'm not going to be using that tool. Take a look at ClickFunnels. I think you can sign up for free for a couple of weeks and then it's $99 a month. It's well worth it. It's not the most intuitive tool, uh, but it does, uh, but if if you spend time going through their training materials and tutorials, you will learn a lot about how a sales funnel works. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about today. Instead, I wanted to talk about the tools that I'm using in WordPress, and one of them is came out of this. It's the split testing of landing and opt-in pages. Because I recognize that uh, I don't know what people are more likely to opt in on. You know, what sort of a landing page, you know, what sort of an offer within that page is going to uh, actually inspire people to give me their email address and sign up for the mail list. So I went and I know that there's a lot of conversation about A-B testing, testing your landing pages, testing your opt-in pages. And I hadn't done any of that. I just bi basically built one page at a time. I would build them an optimized press as I went along. And, uh, you know, I would have however many people opted in on whatever webinar or whatever product that I was doing as we're going to opt in. I didn't think it made that much of a difference. But having gone through the process in ClickFunnels, I recognized that, you know, they were talking about split testing a lot. I split tested when I ran a few projects within ClickFunnels. I did split test different landing pages and I noticed a big difference in conversions. Now my split tests were very simple. I had a basic text landing page and I had another landing page where I had a video with me encouraging people to opt in, telling them about whatever it was they were opting in on. And in ClickFunnels, my video landing pages converted better. So I thought, oh, video pages make a big difference. But the second time I ran a test, 
I wasn't the same. So I recognize the fact that it, depending on the audience, it's not always going to be the same type of landing page or opt-in page that's going to work. So I said, ah, I should do more split testing. So I went on a journey looking on the web for tools to help me do split testing because I knew I wasn't going to stay with ClickFunnels. And everything that I found was fairly pricey. This is a, an incredible service from Unbounce. They create, they help you build pages, they help you test them out, and they, they tell you what's converting better and to optimize your landing pages. And this is, a, it's, it's one of a, a number of great services. But it gets pretty expensive when you look at it. You know, if you're a small time publisher like I am, you know, at a 99, again, 99 or $49 a month is a lot of money. The other thing that concerned me about using these services frankly, is they host your landing pages on their sites for the most part. And that's something that I was uncomfortable with. I didn't like it in ClickFunnels. I didn't like all of my pages being on their site. And I don't really like it here in, in, the, in the other tools as well. So I started on a journey looking for a WordPress plugin that would allow me to do split testing. Now there's a couple of them. One of them is called Optimizely, which does, which also tends to host all of the pages on their site. At least it seemed to me that it did. Then I found this tool called Simple Page Tester, which is a WordPress plugin from some folks down in Australia, and it is dead simple. It's you plug it in as a WordPress plugin, and you can't do super fancy split testing, but it allows you to, to try two pages out and compare them with each other. It costs $49 Australian, and so I bought that and installed it. So this is what I wanted to show you today was I first of all wanted to take your journey to understand why I think split testing is important, but I installed the the tool. Uh, it's uh, the simple page simple page tester. <laughs> I always forget the name. It's a tough name to remember. I don't know why. Simple page tester. So I installed it as a plugin, and we can see it right here in my dashboard right here under split tests right there. So I th this will show us the resulting split tests. Uh, that we're running. But what I'll do to begin the process is I'll show you how you create a split test and then I'll show you what happens as a split test is running, okay? So creating a split test, you can take pages or posts, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna jump into my pages here and just quickly show you the newest one that I've just created. I've just created an opt-in page uh, for a uh, for, for a, an evergreen webinar that I'm gonna be running. So if I go in and I edit this page and I just go into the basic editor, once the page is published, over here on the right-hand side, you see that you've got the ability to create a split test. And if I click on set up a new split test, it will then take this URL, this web, this, uh, this opt-in page, and use it as what's called a master page. Once I create the master page, I can duplicate the master page or choose another page that I've created or to create a new blank page, and it will then run a split test of those different pages once they're all published. Now, how do I, how, how did I convert, uh, or how did I create kind of different pages? Well, for the most part, what I do is I create one page that has just text on it, and another page that has a little running video on it, and then I would see which one converted better or worse. Some of them perform, have performed for me uh, pretty much the same. Other ones surprise the heck out of me. I always thought the video one would, would, would convert better, but that's not always the case. Often, especially for something simple, people just want the text, they don't want to be bothered, they just want to be able to opt in, and I had a much higher conversion rate with the text. So it's been already proven to be a very useful tool. Once you create your split test, deciding which pages you want, then what happens is it starts and serves those pages alternatingly to whoever comes to the master page URL. So you use that master page URL and if we, and then I've got, to, I've got to test that it's still running here. So I'll just take you into that and show you it. So this is a classic test between one video landing page and one text-based landing page. <clears throat> but over time, what it does, if we take a look here, is it will serve based on, you can adjust the percentage, how many views you have or uh, for each of them. So this one page has had 77 views, this other 73. This one is converting at 23%, and this one is converting at 16%. If you wanna see the page and view the page, you just click on view page, because sometimes you forget which is the master and which is the variation. So in this particular case here, the master page is, <laughs> this is a case, my video page. Look, that's the one with a video on it, uh, inviting people to opt in for this free tutorial. That one is converting at uh, 16%, and if I go back 
you'll see that the page that is converting at a higher percentage is the exact same page, except I've just got a graphic here instead of a video. Go figure. I wouldn't have guessed that, but you, you know, statistics don't lie. Now, one thing is, what does it, what's the, what does a conversion represent? That's one thing that you have to pay attention to. It's not just people coming to the page, it's what do they do once they're at the page? We're measuring their interaction. So over here in the right hand side is a conversion code. This is a little bit of code that you basically drop on your, uh, your target page. So in this case here, what I did is I put this on the success page if people have opted in on their email address. So if they've gone to this page, uh, if they've gone to this page here, clicked on get started now, which will then launch a little light box that will allow them to enter the name and email address. As soon as they click on get started now, they're taken to a, a success page, thanking them for registering and giving them instructions. I dropped that little bit of code that you just saw there on that page and that's what tracks the conversions. That's what tracks the success. And then it gives us a little bit of a report here at the end and you can decide over time what the winner is. Of course, you also get a nice graphical representation. So split testing your landing pages, split testing your opt-in pages, I think is, a, is become an essential part of my business process because I don't always know what's going to convert the best. And even though I'm getting a lot of indication so far that the non-video pages are converting better, I'm still going to create the video pages because I, you know, as I create different products, other ones might perform better. And if I'm spending the energy to build a funnel, to build a landing page and to build all of the back end product and the back end uh, content, I want as high a percentage of people that land on that page to actually opt in and get access to the information and join my mail list as possible. So I'm going to continue to use a tool like Simple Page Tester. Uh, do, do I see a time when I might graduate to one of the more sophisticated services? Absolutely. I see a time as my business grows and as, as, as the number of people visiting pages and the number of options increase, I can see a time where one of the other tools uh, like uh, one of the other tools like Unbounce becomes very appealing to me. I'm going to stop it now because I think we've gone on long enough. Uh, I'll do a couple of other uh, of these, uh, of these uh, different WordPress tools and different WordPress plugins that I use over the, over the coming months. I recognize the fact that, the, that you do enjoy and get a lot out of the, kind of the, uh, the narrative and the journey that I've gone through in deciding what tools I'm using, which ones are working for me. I really look forward to your feedback in the comments area telling me what you're doing around split testing, offering me suggestions, and correcting me if I've made any mistakes on this particular video. And that is it for today. You might have noticed that, of course, this video, as all of my Growing Your YouTube channel to 100,000 subscriber vlogs is ad-free. That's because it's supported by our patrons at Patreon. If you want to know about what Patreon is all about and supporting the Dotto Tech channel is all about and what perks are included, I encourage you to visit us at Patreon. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel and subscribe to our newsletter as well. Then you'll hear about all of my upcoming courses. That's it for today. Till next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.